Hi, uh, I'm Tom Hogan, and we're here at the University of Denver. Um, I'm here with Caitlin Badden, aka Batty. Um, she had uh, a great career at Colorado State, and now she's an assistant coach here at the University of Denver. Um, before the University of Denver, I worked with the USA Women's National Team from 2002 to 2008, um, ending with uh, the Beijing Olympics, where we won the silver medal. Today, Batty and I are going to talk a little bit about defense, and we're going to show you some defensive moves. Okay, so the first thing we're going to talk about is uh, our defensive positioning. In terms of defensive position, we want to be in an athletic position. So Batty here is going to get an athletic position. Her feet are going to be slightly staggered. She's going to have her knees over her toes and her shoulders over her knees and her weight forward. She's not going to have her weight forward, so she's falling forward, but she's going to have her weight forward, so she's in a comfortable athletic position, very similar to if she's starting um, a track race, okay, because we want her to be able to move to the ball or dig the ball if it's hit right to her. So Batty's going to be in athletic position, and now we're going to talk about area of court coverage. Okay, so Batty's defensive area of court coverage, okay, kind of depends upon the techniques and tools that we teach her. Okay, so if we kind of think about it, you know, you have a, a, a paintbrush with red paint, and what we're going to do is we're going to paint the area around Batty, okay, and we're going to expect her to dig all those balls around. So if you can think about about a five-foot radius that kind of goes around Batty, any ball that's hit in this area to the inside of this circle, we expect Batty to dig. But what we're going to do is we're going to train Batty those techniques to dig those balls in that area. We can't expect Batty just to naturally be able to dig those balls and keep the ball off the floor. We need to actually teach her the techniques. So Batty's going to be in defensive position back in six. Now the ball that's going to be hit in front of her Okay, so it's not going to be hit to her arms. If Batty's in an athletic position and the ball's hit to her, she can go ahead and dig that ball. It's pretty easy, and everyone knows how to dig that way. Okay, but the higher level you go, the trajectory has changed. The angles change. People are a lot higher on the net, and they're able to hit the ball down as well as flat. On the club levels, 8th grade, ninth grade, 10th grade, it's mostly a flat angle game. The higher levels you go, the higher levels of club, the higher levels of college and into international and professional, the angles and trajectories change. Now you have players that are able to touch above 10 feet. If you're a Cuban, you can touch 12 feet. And they're able to hit the ball down. So if that is an athletic position, we need to teach her how to play a ball that's in front of her. So what we're going to do is we're going to train and teach her the collapse move, the forward collapse move. So we're going to teach Batty the forward collapse for the ball that's hit in front of her. Okay, we're going to teach this in progression. Now progression training is what I like. Some other people like just going straight to live training, but if you want to teach someone calculus, you don't teach them calculus, you teach them addition and subtraction first, then you go to division and multiplication, and finally you'll wind up a calculus. So we got to kind of train Batty's body to respond to this technique. So the first thing I'm going to do is ask her to catch the ball in a cradle position and go down into a forward collapse. So Batty's in athletic position, and she's teaching her body how to go down to a forward collapse, and she's doing a great job. Very simple. Okay, the next thing I'm gonna have her do is I'm gonna have her dig in a medium position and then I'm gonna have her go to a forward collapse, okay? I'm not gonna make her do the forward collapse yet, but I want her to get comfortable with doing the forward collapse. So dig in a medium position and then into a forward collapse. So again, this is the next level of the progression. Dig in a medium position and forward collapse. And obviously we're doing this a lot faster than how I'd normally train it but these are the levels. The last level is the actual forward collapse. So now I'm gonna challenge Batty and hit in front of her. And I'm gonna make her drive into the forward collapse. So again, the levels of progression are gonna be catch and cradle, into the forward collapse. Nice. It's gonna be dig at a medium position, then into the collapse. And again, she's getting her body used to it so it can become a natural reaction, and the last one is going to be the actual forward collapse. Okay, so Batty is going to get back into her athletic position for defense, and again, we just taught her how to dig a ball in front, okay? So those players that are hitting from a high trajectory, from a high point of contact, okay, a sharp trajectory down. Now we're going to teach Batty how to dig the ball once a little bit further out in front of her, okay? So we're going to call this move a step push. So a ball that's hit out in front. So this is about the furthest extent of Batty's area of defensive coverage. Okay. 
she's going to step to the ball and she's going to bring her platform first. So when Batty's in athletic position and she sees that the ball's not hit to her, she needs to go to the ball. The most important aspect of this is that she takes her platform to the ball first. She's not going to dig the ball with her foot. She's going to dig the ball with her platform. So we want her to lead with her platform. So as she steps, her platform is out in front. Once she realizes that she's not to the ball, I'm going to ask her to push off the leg that she stepped with to the ball and through it. So again, the way of teaching this is we're already going to have Batty step. So Batty's already going to be stepped. Go ahead and step. She's going to have her platform in front. And what I want her to do is dig this ball and then push through. So dig first and then push. And again, Batty's not falling. She's pushing off the leg that she's stepped with. So again, progression level training. I just wanted to teach her body on how to do this move so her upper body's in front. She's going to dig and then push through the ball. Okay, second part of this move, second part of this progression is that she's already going to be stepped and now I'm going to challenge her. So Batty's going to be stepped with her upper body in front. Now I'm going to challenge her to push through the ball. So I'm going to hit the ball a little bit further in front of her. So again, Batty is going to be in athletic position. We're going to ask her to be stepped, upper body in front, and I'm going to challenge her to push to the ball. And then the last part of this progression, Batty is going to be in athletic position. She's going to wait until the ball is contacted. She's going to step and push through the ball. Set. In, in terms of the progression, again, we'll, we'll, we'll mix it up because in training, we'll, we'll teach them how to dig with both, with both legs. So we'll have Batty switch to her right. Okay, she's, or sorry, your left. <laughs> so we're going to have her go ahead and already be stepped. She's going to dig in a medium position and then she's going to push through the ball. Okay, excellent. Once again, she's not falling over her leg. She's pushing off the leg that she stepped with through the ball. We're not falling. Okay, the second part of that progression is that she's already going to be stepped. So go ahead and be stepped with her platform in front. Now I'm going to ask her to push to the ball and through it. Okay, good. And finally, the third part of this progression is that she's going to be in that athletic position. Now I'm going to make her step and push through the ball. So again, Batty's going to be in her athletic position back here. So that's weight forward. Feet slightly staggered, knees over toes, shoulders over knees. Okay, so this is athletic position. As Batty moves around the court, we want her to hold this athletic position. We don't want her to go back on her heels. So Batty's going to move around the court in athletic position. So she's maintaining that athletic position. Okay, and within that athletic position, so Batty's in athletic position, now we have her area of court coverage. Think of it as red paint, kind of painting the court around her. And once we teach her how to dig the balls around her, then we can expect her to dig those balls.